The fractiousness that marked the ticket distribution process in Maharashtra continued until the close of withdrawal of nominations for the 288 seats in the state that is set to vote on November 20th. The fierce jostling for tickets meant that virtually all top leaders from the six main parties were closeted with the rebels over the Diwali weekend. The ruling Mahayuti alliance managed to convince at least 25 rebel candidates to withdraw their nominations, but at least 18 remain in the fray. BJP had 13 rebels, but four have withdrawn. NCP has three remaining from six, while Shiv Sena has all six of the rebels still running. From the Mahavikas Agadi, 14 leaders had filed nominations defying party command. Among those who withdrew the nominations was Congress's Mukhtar Shaikh, who withdrew from the Kasba Pet Assembly constituency in Pune and announced his support to the party's official candidate Ravindra Dhangekar. One of the high-profile battles would be on the Mahim seat, where Raj Thakre has propped up his son Amit Thakre for the assembly elections for the first time. Chief Minister Eknath Shinde had given the ticket to the sitting MLA from his party, Sada Sarwankar. But later, as Raj Thakre decided to throw his son into the ring, the BJP switched support to Amit Thakre. Shinde and the BJP then tried to convince Sarwankar to withdraw his nomination, but that did not happen. Mahim will now see a triangular fight between Sarvankar, Thakre and Mahesh Savant of Shiv Sena UBT. The Congress received a big jolt in Kolhapur when its official candidate from Kolhapur North, Madhurima Rajay, the daughter-in-law of Shahu Chhatrapati, withdrew her nomination. The Congress is now backing independent Rajesh Latkar in Kolhapur North. Congress initially gave Latkar the ticket before choosing Madhurima Rajay over him. Nevertheless, the biggest news for either alliance has to be the withdrawal of Manoj Jharange Patil, who had vowed revenge on Mahayuti. Manoj Patil's influence, particularly in Marathwada, has had significant political repercussions. During the last Lok Sabha elections, his opposition to the BJP and former Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis arguably contributed to the Mahayuti alliance's loss across Marathwada as well as in parts of Vidarbha and western Maharashtra. Patil's decision not to field candidates impacts the election's dynamics now, especially for Mahayuti. The possibility of Patil's candidates splitting the traditional Maratha, Dalit and Muslim support base of the Mahavikas Agadi is now out of the question. But how are the parties handling rebel candidates who have not withdrawn the nomination? Uddhav Sena has said that the five Sena UBT rebels have been expelled from the party. BJP has also issued a similar warning to its rebel candidates.